During this film, you will need to take down readings from the screen. This exercise bicycle can be pedaled at different rates to simulate a range of road speeds. The amount of work the cyclist has to do can also be varied using a spring-loaded roller which presses against the front tyre. It's set using that knob. We shall keep it at a constant load setting throughout our experiments. The cyclist's chest is cleaned using surgical spirit. Then electrodes are attached. There are three electrodes in all. As he uses the bicycle, impulses from the electrodes can be carried to amplifying and recording equipment. At the moment, he's resting. The trace on the right shows his heartbeats. The heart rate can be read off from a meter. Note down this reading using the top scale. Notes in the experiment booklet tell you how to convert the reading into heartbeats per minute afterwards. Use the top scale. An ultrasonic detector enables us to hear the pulse rate in his brachial artery corresponding to his heart rate. Listen. His blood pressure can be measured using a sphygmomanometer. This microphone inside the cuff will be pressed firmly against the mark we've made on his arm just over his brachial artery. Now get ready to write down a blood pressure reading. We pump up the cuff, then we release the air and note at what reading the instrument starts to flash and bleep. There it is, about 120. His systolic blood pressure when he's resting, 120. We're also going to record certain parameters relating to his respiratory performance. He'll breathe in and out through this tube in his mouth, a clips put on his nose to close his nostrils. When he breathes out, this little fan revolves, interrupting a light beam inside the instrument and thereby modifying an electrical signal sent to the recorder. The trace on the left now records his breathing. As he exhales, the pen moves to the left. As he inhales, the pen remains stationary. So we get this series of steps. When five litres of air have passed through his lungs, the pen flicks back and continues recording a new series of steps. So this is the pattern we get. Breathing in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, and so on. This distance represents five litres of air. And there's more of his breathing. Once again, we're using metres from which to take down actual readings. A first metre shows his breathing rate. Use the bottom scale and later convert this reading into breaths per minute using the booklet notes again. This is breathing at rest, remember. There's another meter recording tidal volume, the volume of air passing into or out of his lungs at each breath. Read the bottom scale again, and again convert your reading into the actual tidal volume afterwards. The booklet tells you what to do.
Now he's going to exercise for five minutes. See the change in the pattern of his breathing as he starts to pedal? He'll pedal for five minutes at 10 kilometers per hour, right down this speed. After two and a half minutes, listen to his pulse and look at his breathing pattern. He's taking deeper breaths than when he was at rest. Coming up to five minutes. Get ready to write down his systolic blood pressure. There it is, about 144 or 145. Write it down. Now his heart rate, the top scale again. Respiratory rate, the bottom scale this time. and the tidal volume, bottom scale again. Later, you'll convert the dial readings into the parameters you need. After he's rested for 15 minutes, he starts up again. This time at 15 kilometers per hour, 15. we maintain the same loading on the front tyre. And after two and a half minutes, his heart rate's faster and he's breathing more deeply and more rapidly. After five minutes, as before, blood pressure, Now the heart rate, and this time, read the bottom scale. Respiratory rate, also the bottom scale. and the tidal volume, bottom scale. After another 15 minutes rest, he starts again. 20 kilometers per hour, 20.
halfway through and his heart and lungs are having to work hard. The five minutes are up. Bottom scale. Bottom again. And the bottom scale again. He rests for 15 minutes before starting his final exercise. 25 kilometers per hour, 25. Halfway through. And again, read the bottom scales on these next three readings. Now convert your scale readings into the required parameters and use the notes in the experiment booklet to help you examine how the cyclist coped with these different levels of exercise.